watching Thrifty Kniffy. Hello everyone and welcome to Thrifty Kniffy. We're going to be taking a look at a case knife today. Uh, I've said in the past and mentioned a few times that I'm going to be buying more case knives this year so you can expect to see more case reviews in the, than you have in the past. Quick look at the box. Uh, reveals this is made in USA with domestic and imported materials. And we've got the cancer warning there, the BR Case and Sons Cutlery. We're looking at model number 35811, Cayenne Bone Crandall Jig, small swell center jack. And then the pattern is 6225 1-2 SS. So uh, stainless steel on this uh, blade options. Blade material is the stainless steel. They're true sharp surgical steel. Let's take a peek at what we're looking at here. This is uh, the Swell Center Jack. And then again, it's the Cayenne Bone with the Crandall Jigging. Nickel Silver Bolsters. Brass Pins. Nickel Silver Shield. That oval style case shield. Case XX. And the bolsters have a nice little flourish to them. They have the XX uh, sort of threading on it which I thought was pretty nice, little design. Kind of sets off the piece quite a bit. You get that beautiful cayenne bone. Really well jigged. Case always does such a fantastic job on their handles, and this is no different. Very smooth on the pins, and the shield is well inlaid. Good transition to the bolsters. It's just a small pattern. You're looking at uh, exactly three inches in length, closed. So, have the opportunity to look at the bottom here, and you can see it's free of any gaps, which is nice. Always a concern when I buy a, a case knife and found one that uh, did a good job of no gapping. Get the uh, brass liners here and then the stainless springs, and each blade has its own individual spring. Good look at the top down view there. You can see the, the liner separates the two blades and we have a clip blade in front and then a pin blade in back. Just a small jackknife. But this was the vault pattern for 2022 so I felt it was probably time I went and found one before they disappear. And this is the handle material I opted for. Probably not going to be buying, you know, multiples of the case knives gonna have to be pretty selective about what I get they're they're a little pricey this one was $65 so that's quite a bit to spend on a small knife like this and I can understand why uh, some of my viewers are not interested in a knife uh, that costs this much so just bear with me and hopefully you can just enjoy the review for what it is but uh Crandall jigging is a little different. It's a little rougher than some of the other style jigging. And uh, it does provide a unique take on the on the handle material. But it is consistent. It's nice orange transition to the outer edges. And uh, did a good job dyeing that does have sort of a, a spicy pepper look to it um, like uh, some seasoning you know so really nice uh, overall on the outside well constructed really no issues with this one let's take a closer look at the blades you have half stops here very definitive stop and uh, good snap I'd say about a five on the open there's your uh, case tank stamp and you'll see that there's nine dots there so or is that eight hmm, I'll have to look at that again yeah eight that makes more sense for 2022 starts with ten dots and twenty 20 take away one for 2021 take away two for 2022 so eight dots 
So the 2022 Tang stamp. Again, the vault pattern. So only going to be released just the one year and then it disappears again back into the vault. So if this is a pattern that you're in favor of, you might want to make sure you grab one before they kind of go away. 2023, they're introducing a uh, Congress, small Congress pattern. That'll be the vault pattern for 2023. This one going to be going away. So thought it was time, like I said, to grab one. But uh, let's take a closer look at that little clip blade. It's just a nice little thin California clip style blade. Got a uh, overall tang length, two and a quarter inches, maybe slightly over. Cutting edge, right around two inches. And half stops, mirror finish. These are the stainless steel blades. True sharp surgical steel from Case. Good look at the blade edge on that side. Nice standard style nail nick on there. And then there's your cutting edge on this side. Again, half stop and a pull of about five. All right, so let's look at the pin blade. Pin blade's nail nick is on the back. About halfway up the blade, half stop on it too. And this is where you're going to find the pattern number. And uh, I won't attempt to try to read that off of there, but it is the uh, 6225 half, and then below it says SS 6225 1 slash 2, and then SS below it. So USA made. The USA on there. Your uh, typical style nail nick. There's your blade edge. Nice mirror polish on these. Pick up fingerprints pretty easily, but they are well done. Nice snap on this blade as well. Say so it's a maybe about a six. Good snap on it. Pretty happy with the the build of the knife. Good snap, good pull on the blades. Well constructed, no gaps. Really beautiful bone, well, <clears throat> very well jigged. Nothing proud, no stepping. Get the nice uh, XX on the bolsters. So I think I did a pretty decent job picking one out for uh, this little swell end, swell center jack. Just a, just a really nice little piece. So this blade, one and a half inches to the tang. And I'm sorry, one and three quarter inches to the tang and then one and a half inch cutting edge. So pretty small little pin blade. But it does have a little belly to it. Kind of a nice shape. To get used to turning the knives over on the case ones they always put the nail nicks on the back but overall just a really cool knife i'm pretty happy with it uh a little pricey yeah it is but i mean that's what you're going to pay for if you want an all-american knife and uh, i do want to support case and uh, american companies i get so much flack for buying Chinese knives, but uh, trust me, I do understand uh, the importance to support American companies, and I try to do that. And uh, this is an example here. So, while some may complain about $65, you got to remember where it's made and who it's made by. And if you're getting a nice piece of cutlery like this, it's hard to complain. Uh, Case really does a great job of their handle material and their handle polish. And, I mean, just look at that mirror finish on that spring. You, you just don't get that on a lot of knives. So, beautifully made. And uh, this is an example of what they can what they can do when they do it right. So, that's going to do it for my review, fellas. It's, uh, again, the model number 
35811, Cayenne Bone, Crandall Jig, Swell Synergies Jack, Vault Pattern for 2022. If you're looking for a Swell Center Jack, you might want to pull the trigger here soon before they go away. That's going to do it for my review, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell to be made aware of videos when they drop. You guys have a fantastic day today. Please do take care.